So to continue to expand on this idea, we're gonna just continue to make other things. Well, any invoice actually kind of has a reference to any visit. If we remember, that was kind of something I had said earlier. So I actually want my visit ID, my visit ID from my visit table, that guy right there. I want that to also appear inside of my uh, invoice because again I need to reference it in some different way we're gonna keep it as a short key a uh, short text this time but instead of this being considered my primary key when we start to build our relationships of our database this is actually considered something called a foreign key and that foreign key is just saying that this is a unique identifier to another table. And I typically like to at least specify what my table is that I'm working with. But I wanna go down here to my properties section. You notice how uh, for both of my invoice num and my visit ID, as I look at them, they both have pretty much the same properties. Well, let's say for example, for invoice ID, I want to click on that. You see that it says down here, field size 255. Well, what does that mean? Well, what that means is how many uh, alpha numeric characters, letters, numbers, symbols, I can have appear in this field, 255. It's a little big for what we need. If you think about our uh, student ID numbers, those are only seven digits long, and we seem to be doing just fine. Since we're dealing with, uh, you know, an urgent care place, I don't expect them to be booming with business. There's tons of them. We're going to actually change this to just five. Now, again, what this does is it says it limits it to say only five alphanumeric characters can come in. We're going to keep on going, and I'm going to actually say we also want to change my caption. Again, if we look at my field name, it's invoice num and there's no spacing and it's all one word well again that's good for uh, the IT guy that's good for the the IT guy because once upon a time databases couldn't handle spaces and it's just kind of a uh, thing that we still do today just as a convention but you know I'm not IT guy I'm normal person who has to do this for a homework assignment well, what we can do is we can come in here, say invoice, invoice, space, number, and that's perfectly fine. What will happen is this will actually be what we see in just a little bit. Just to continue expanding on this, now visit ID. Well, visit ID, if we look at the visit table again, there are only four characters. Every one of my visits is only four characters long. So, I don't need to make this five, but I do want it to be four. And the same idea comes in here, is that I, you know, if we think about it, I don't want to give a visit ID, I don't want to type in six numbers, because there is not going to be a visit ID of six numbers. There's only going to be a visit ID of four numbers. Keep on going, we're going to at least also change the caption of this to visit space ID, and I think we're good for those two. Now. We're going to continue to expand on our fields. We're going to go ahead and create, again, we're dealing with billing, so I'm going to create something called invoice AMT. Ah, okay, what's AMT stand for? Some of you probably have thought, and you're like, all right, well, billing, process of elimination, probably dealing with amount. And we are, we're going to be dealing with uh, sort of the amount of the invoice. So, again, this time, instead of my data type being a short text, in that drop down menu, you see I get a slew of different options. One of those, because we're dealing with money, is money. And you can see that automatically puts that into place. Now, my description, I don't actually need to put anything in here because, well, it's amount, it's, uh, it's currency, uh, but it doesn't have any kind of relationship to any other table. It's a unique uh, element to this table. But I am going to change one thing. Instead of my decimal places, notice my my properties have changed here. Here for short text data types, I get all this stuff. For currency, because it's a numerical value, it's a lot more strict, uh, the only things I can really change are things like my uh, decimal places. And instead of auto, I'm gonna change this to just two, 2.5.
two decimal places because cents. I will increase, uh, uh, change my caption from uh, just invoice AMT because I don't know what that is. I'm going to change it to invoice amount. That allows me a little bit more kind of understanding of what this one is dealing with. We'll keep on going. So next one is going to be invoice date. All one word again because invoice date now says, well, when did we make the invoice? We again are going to go in and this time we're just going to select the date time data type. And again, you see we get a few different options. For our caption, we're just going to say invoice date time. And let's take a look at that format option. Right now, format doesn't do much, it's empty, but if we click on the drop down menu for it, you see we get a number of different options of how we want to present this data. Again, just like we learned in Microsoft Excel, dates are this weird hodgepodge of numbers and symbols that aren't really alphanumeric short text, they're their own kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say short date, you know, month, year, or month, day, year, uh, for the US kind of timestamp. We're going to continue on and we're going to go ahead and add in one more option invoice paid. Has this invoice been paid or not? Well, that sounds like a yes or no question, which sounds like another one of our data types, yes or no. And you can see again, we have even smaller properties because we're dealing with something very strict. It can only be yes or no. So uh, only things I can really change are maybe, you know, what it means to be yes or no, true or false, on and off, and my my caption, invoice paid. And once we've built this out, we do need to save this. We need to go ahead and click our little floppy diskette. And we're going to go ahead and call this one. And we'll go ahead and call it uh, invoice table since you know we got a lot of invoice words here invoice 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 and to change the view to change how this looks you notice over here on our left we have that table that view that option if I just simply click on this you see that it switches over from our uh, table design view again you can actually see the symbol changes as well and I can click on it again and it goes back to it I can go back and forth from these and so now I'm able to adjust these now they're a little cut off so I can resize these a bit and what you'll see is all those captions we wrote they now appear as well 